Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and set up a new hard drive I bought. It's an external 4 terabyte USB 3.0. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, we'll go ahead and plug it into the USB port. Now, if it's probably formatted FAT or NTFS, it should come up on the PlayStation that it's not supported. Give it a few moments here just to load. Okay, so the USB storage device file system is unsupported, which is a normal message. We knew that we were going to get that uh, because it's not formatted for the PlayStation. So we'll go into settings. We'll go down to devices and then go to USB storage devices. You will see your drive there. You can go ahead and just select it. And we're going to go with format as ex extended storage. So we'll go ahead and select it. Um, we know that uh, everything, if there is anything on it, it, it is going to be deleted. So just make sure that if it's not a new hard drive, it's one that you had laying around. You go ahead and check what files are on it. You may want to have them backed up before you go ahead with this process. So we'll go ahead and hit format. Now, depending on the size of the drive, it shouldn't take too long. Um, mine's a four terabyte, so maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Um, uh, looks like it actually went pretty quick. Um, so maybe five seconds. But you can see that it is there now. We can go ahead and copy over some games. Okay, so we can just jump right into the drive. If we go to manage content, it does bring us up to our storage section. You can also just go ahead and back up there. And if you back out to your main menu part, just go down one more to storage. It does bring you into the same spot. So from here, we'll go ahead and select our internal storage, go into our applications, and we can go ahead and move over a game. So if we go ahead and hit options, and then move to extended storage, we can go ahead and select a game. I'll select a Minecraft just for this video, uh, and we'll go ahead and hit move. Go ahead and hit OK, and it shouldn't take too long. Um, Minecraft's pretty small, so as you can see, it's under 30 seconds. 25 seconds to go. There's 20 seconds, about halfway now. Okay, 10 more seconds to go. Okay, one second to go, and we're done. So if we go ahead and back out of there, um, for this here demonstration, I do have two Minecrafts, as you can see, there is two. It doesn't actually tell us which one is on the external drive, but uh, one way we can find out is if we just go over to our settings, go down to our devices, and go down and select our USB storage device, and go ahead and select it, and we'll just hit stop using. And then we can go ahead and unplug it. Go ahead and hit OK. And we can go ahead and back out. And if you look here, now we have a quotation uh, as the other one doesn't. So we know that this one is on our external. We can go ahead and just go ahead and add it to a folder. Um, create a new folder. Just name it external. And drive. Oh. There we go external drive and then go ahead and hit OK. Now if this was a different game and you only have one on there obviously if it was Ghost then you would know you only have one Ghost game but uh, in the case that you do have two then it does you can do it that way. So if we want to get that game back to normal we'll just go ahead and just plug in our drive and we'll give it a few moments to load the drive depending on how many games you have on it it shouldn't take too long. Okay, and as you can see, the icon goes away. We can go ahead and click on the game, and it will load with no issue. So that's basically it for the video, guys. I just wanted to show you that you can use an external drive to copy all over, uh, copy over all your games if you want, instead of using them on the internal. This works out pretty good. If you have two PlayStations, you can go ahead and just move the drive from one PlayStation to the other without having to 
have two different drives. But I'm going to leave the video at that. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.